All right, you, um, great to be back with you. I always love this question because I get amazing answers. Um, you know, influencers come in all sizes, shapes, languages, cultures, moments, or longer periods sometimes. Tell me about one or a couple of people that have influenced your life. Yeah, I mean, I'll, if it's okay, I'll share with you two, and they're very, very different. Now, one is more of a moment in time. The other is uh, for, for a much longer period of time. You know, when I was very young, I was about 17 years old. I was living in the Bronx, and I had the opportunity, because I was pretty good at math, to work for Morgan Stanley. And uh, Morgan Stanley had a big office building on the Avenue of the Americas in New York. And my first day, I can remember being all proud in my new Hagar polyester suit, riding the D train downtown. <laughs> like an adult. And I got on the elevator um, in the Exxon building there on the Avenue of the Americas to go up to the 28th floor where I was told to report. And all these people kept coming on the elevator who were vastly older than me, far better dressed than me, talking in English, but it seemed like a code. That the language I did not understand. And I was the sort of fighter uh, or flight instinct really, really went in. And so elevator gets to the 28th floor. I move out with a herd of people. I have no idea where to go. I'm full-fledged panic mode. And I'm ready to jump on the elevator and leave that place forever until I hear this voice in a very heavy Brooklyn accent saying, you must be Welsh. And this, this short Italian lady grabs me by my lanyard and drags me away. And her name was Sally Newman. And Sally Newman was the head of the, the administrative staff on the 28th floor. And it was her job to, uh, to give me my orientation. And she gave me an orientation, not just by the book, but like who's who, what they liked, what they didn't like, their backgrounds. And I asked her, like, why are you sharing all this with me? And she said, Hugh, business is, a, is, is, is all about relationships. And all the time that I worked there with her at Morgan Stanley, she kept reinforcing with me that it was all about building relationships. So I carried that with me wherever I go. And if Sally Newman hadn't pushed her way through that crowd and grabbed me, that I would have been back on the D train uptown and who knows where I would have ended up today. That's awesome. Um, uh, yeah, no, I still, I still, still think about those days all the time. Um, but, but probably the most impactful person would be my father. I mean, my father is, uh, he's still alive. He's in his eighties, but he's a legend. Uh, I mean, when you think of like movie, you know, mythical figures, my dad is, um, a, v uh, a Vietnam combat veteran, uh, highly decorated, worked in special forces. Uh, I was actually born while he was in the jungles of Vietnam. Returned, had nine children, of which I'm the oldest. Uh, he had a, a legendary career with the Port Authority as a lawyer. Uh, so he worked for the Port Authority of, uh, of New York and New Jersey for, for almost 40 years and tried many cases. Um, was before the Supreme Court of the United States seven times, so he's a super experienced, well-respected orator. And on 9-11, he was on the 67th floor of World Trade Center One, and there's a whole big story of how he miraculously survived that day, dug himself out from the rubble, um, crawled to, to uh, out, got to Journal Square in, over in New Jersey through the Holland Tunnel, and, and sort of led a lot of the recovery and rebuilding effort for the Port Authority before he retired. Wow. You know, he's, um, he's a person, if you met, he's it's about a humble human being as you can find. And he's somebody whose ethics and integrity are above all reproach. And for me, you know, he's always been there if I needed advice or counsel on something. But more important for me, he's been a living example of, I think, how to live a good life. And that it's not about material. You know, he could have gone and worked for a big law firm and made a lot of more money. It's not about... Um, winning awards, you know, I'm sure he could have had plenty of opportunity to do that. It's, it's about doing the right thing, um, surrounding yourself with your family, and above all else, living a life where you're, you're, you're sticking to your true north and your integrity. And any time, and we all do, right, from time to time, I come across a situation that's gray, we'll, we'll call it, it's been very simple for me to make the right decisions, because I just ask myself, what will my father do? Yeah, that is, that is so awesome. You remind me of a quote that Pat Riley had about the best legacy he said that I could have is having assistant coaches or anybody that I've worked with become head coaches, and that'd be my legacy. So it sounds like you are um, clearly have given your father a legacy, man. Uh, I'm doing my best, uh, but like he's been a good example. At, at his retirement, I hope they say uh, the same things about me at mine, where all of his colleagues got up one by one, and they didn't talk about all of his Supreme Court cases are the heroics of 9-11, 
They talked about how he made them a better father, a better husband. That was, uh, that, that told me he had a life well lived. That's real. That's, that's the real thing, man. Thank you so much for sharing that. And, uh, Thank give that a hug for me. I will. It's Memorial Day, so I gotta I gotta go spend some time with them at a at a distance in these days. Well, definitely tell them um, thanks for his service in so many ways, and we appreciate it. All right. And listen, you've been you've been an influencer for me too, so I appreciate that. I, I consider you a friend, and um, and someone that is uh, doing some great stuff out there. So thanks for that too. Well, hey, I look forward to the time where we can see each other face to face again. No kidding. <laughs> Thanks a million. Thank you.